Where are we going? So now we're heading to our inland portion of our Alaska trip. So uh, we have Kenai Peninsula first, mm -hmm. which is the namesake of our dog Kenai. Everybody say hi to Kenai. Hi Kenai. <laughs> we're gonna get to see where he came from, sort of. <laughs> he did not come from Alaska. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be fun. It's a much different experience than the cruise we've been told. So um, I'm looking forward to it. It's already yes. beautiful. So right now we are stopped and we're the only ones on the bus. It's basically our bus right now. It is. Cole decided not to get off, but this one was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But I did get off for the salmon. You the did? salmon were cool. Yeah, but this is cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What are you doing here? What are you doing in here? You know, I was just going on a retreat, trying to get away, find some peace and quiet <laughs> in Kenai Peninsula, Alaska, and I don't know, I don't know how you found me. Wow. Okay, take a look at our amenities, babe. So here's our little cabin for the night. Yes, it is a quick stop tonight. Um, but the bathroom checks out. First thing we always check the bathroom which was nice rolling shower shower chair lots of space little deck plenty of room for coal to roll out on too but we haven't had a fireplace in a long time so i think we'll be spending a lot of time by the fireplace soaking it in Whee! all right so i was thinking we could buy a sled attach it to the back of me and then you can yell mush and I'll, I'll push and pull you along I'm places. down. You Let's do, it? do it, yeah. As long as we're going downhill. Yeah, <laughs> going uphill won't work, huh? Yeah. What's wrong, babe? It's raining. It. Hallelujah. On lunch. On our lunch. So I made a makeshift, you know, hood. Because you know how us uh, curly haired women are. I gotta say though, this view, pretty incredible. I don't know what it's looking at. It, was I even on anything? I mean, you you had a good amount of this on it. Oh, all right, let's get out of the it's rain. cold. <laughs> What's the deal? We don't have an excursion while we're here in Kenai, and we're only here for one day. But what they do have on this property are observation decks down by that river that I showed you in lunch, and I barely got the clip of it with the thing. <laughs> um, and they have an, an accessible shuttle, I've been told. We haven't verified that yet. It's coming soon. Um, a shuttle that'll get us down there, but from like the, the road that the shuttle's on, there aren't like hard trails to the observation decks. So there's like, you know, it's gonna be gravel, probably gonna be some roots and stuff to get over. He doesn't know if we'll make it. I don't know if I'll make it, but I told him, hey, we're never gonna know if I don't get down there. So we're gonna get down there and just uh, play by ear, see what happens. Yay, hopefully it works out. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, so we made it. Here's the update. <laughs> we made it down here. Mm -hmm. We were told uh, that the vans that get down here actually aren't accessible. Well, they do yeah. have an accessible one, but it can't make the trail down here because it's and, super steep. And then the paths were too like had too many roots and stuff. Um, so they said we couldn't do it. So here we are. So we did it. <laughs> so we, we did it anyway. Going downhill is much easier. Going uphill will be the challenge. But luckily, yeah. we have about. Five people. Yes, we have to friends. Help. We have friends. <laughs> Just in case. Friends come in handy, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. But this is so gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. look at our view right now. Look how blue that water is. Yeah, you can't even tell how they can't even see how blue it is. But it's really blue, trust us. Uh, I'm so happy we did this. Or I feel like I'm in a movie. Like um the Revenant when he's going down the the rapids. But hopefully we're not about to die. No. That'd be nice. <laughs> that's a little <laughs> <laughs> Fire Master. Nice, babe. Oh, it's okay. gonna blow out. Dang Hurry. it! Ready? This is very difficult. But it's burning out! This is so ridiculous. I think it might have caught. Yay. Good job, babe. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? I was talking to them. Oh, how are y'all? How are y'all? Oh, that's great. 
So we keep going? Yeah, we should okay. keep going. All right. We're waking up at the Kinaj Lodge and- The what? Kinaj. Kinaj Lodge. Oh my gosh. We're waking up at the Kenai Lodge and we're heading out to McKinley today mm -hmm. with a stop for lunch in Anchorage and to look around. The time thing is so different here. Like I was sitting beside the window at dinner mm -hmm. and it's still light outside. And I'm thinking to myself, why am I not hungry right now? And I look down, it's 9.30. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, no wonder. I never eat this late. Right. Let's get breakfast. It's 8.20 and we leave at 8.55, so we need some time to get some oh, breakfast. Yeah, let's roll. Let's do it. Okay, so we're here at the McKinley Princess Lodge. It's a pretty large property, a lot bigger than the last one we just came from. But what's nice is they have an accessible shuttle that runs around the whole property. So getting around is super easy. And then you can find things like that mushroom, which I might go eat right now. Oh my gosh, oh, it looks poisonous. Well, maybe I'll go for a nice trip. For a nice trip. Good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, speaking of trip, it's time to get on the, the lift. Time to get on the shuttle. Investigation classified material held by... Lock up. All right. Woo! Yeah! All right, y'all missed it, but we just saw the tip. We think we saw the tip. We, we think we saw the tip. We weren't sure, but it was... It was pointy and white and it emerged from the clouds. So that means I think we're part of the 30% club. What babe, the tip of what? <laughs> the tip of the mountain. <laughs> okay. It's fun. Uh, this event has been a blast because it's full of creators. So we've been running around like doing different Instagram things and Instagram, TikTok, all that jazz. And we heard that there was a really cool tree house that we should go to and check out too. So we're gonna go to uh, to check out the tree house, see how accessible it is. Are you swapping? Are you? Swatting the camera? Yeah, yeah, there's bugs everywhere. Oh, they were swatting the camera. <laughs> oh, no, I was trying to slap the flies out of the way, but here, ready? Mm hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> so we this, made it. We made it over here. This is a rare occasion that we have someone who can help capture the moments yeah. where Charisma is helping me with these things because typically it's just us two mm -hmm. and she's filming. So uh, here's our little adventure up the path. Here we go. Oh, I'm spazzing. Spazzing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is a big fast. Okay, we're good. All right. So I try to help out as best I can. The motor does help some. Charisma, how much do you feel you're doing here percentage-wise? Uh, yeah. I think I'm doing like 60%, 60 percent right here. Maybe All right, so 70 now. Probably 70. It got steeper. And we're almost there. Oh, the camera again. Again? Cool. Oh wait, no, it's just the just camera. Oh, thank God. Oh. I've dropped the camera so many times on this. The, the coast is the, clear. The little one. Hey, right. you had it. Oh no, you did drop it. I did? Yes. Oh man. <laughs> what? See what, this is not good. And we made it. Woo, we did it. All right, thank you, Brayden. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful. Incredible. So beautiful. And it's raining on us. No, it's I, not. I, yeah, look at the deck, babe. It's literally raining Oh on no, us. I don't want to get rained on. Okay, so I got tired, so Jasmine and I are back oh. here. This is our friend Jasmine. <laughs> and then Brayden and Cole are far ahead. They're, so, it's hard to keep up. I know, we're like running. Yeah. So it's nice, I got a little break. There's Brayden. I'm not a vlogger, all right? <laughs> you get so nervous with the camera. So nervous. That's it's Jasmine like, over there. Who you met earlier. <laughs> Can we share your handles? How about you share your handles? So mine's at Brayden Stanley. Jasmine McCarthy with two eyes. Two eyes. I'll put them on screen. And you're gonna so see you can our see YouTube them. channel coming soon. Woo! Yeah. These guys have inspired us to uh, to start sharing. Coming so soon. yeah, coming soon. Yes. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're encouraging them because yeah. they're really good at this stuff. So yeah, yeah. well, they, they've helped us out a lot. Yeah. But I think we have a cocktail party coming up soon. So we're gonna go back down this gravel hill. Should be a lot easier going down than going up. Wee! Right. Easy peasy. Oh. Oh, that's a rock. Yeah, I, I'm aware. <laughs> oh, 
so let's do a tour. This room is really nice. It's very big. Show us. First thing off the bat, thick carpets. Not my favorite. That's okay though, I'm able to move around. There's tons of space. Um, there is a lot of furniture, but that's okay. We're gonna spend most of our time in the bedroom or out and about anyway. Um, so let's go that way. Here we are. I can turn completely around. So much space beside the bed, which I love. The bed is a little tall, so we may request the box spring to be taken out. Yeah. We're not sure yet. We're kind of back and forth on that one. Even the desk right here, if you can see, I can swing right underneath and I can do work if I weren't on vacation. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. And this is the bathroom, so it has a nice tub, which is really nice. A sink here with a lower mirror, so like easier for coal, but then there's also a sink here higher mirror and coal can roll under both of them. Yeah, this one is super rolled under for me. Yeah, this one's really good. Ah! And you can see yourself. I love it. Nice toilet, good position, because sometimes the toilets are in the worst positions. That's true. And a shower, rolling shower. One thing we did was we went to the guest services and we told them if there are northern lights, and this is a service they provide, so we didn't just like randomly ask, if there are northern lights tonight, to please give our room a call and let us know, no matter the time, so we can go out and see them. Because tonight has some clear skies and a relatively high Aurora Borealis index. <laughs> um, so there's potential that it might come out tonight. A part of me kind of hopes we can't see it because I'm tired. We have so much going on, dude. I know, it's so busy. Yeah. There's, there's a lot happening. But if they do give us the call, I would be willing to get out of bed and go because the mission of this trip was to make out under the Northern Lights. So, <laughs> so I'd be down for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won't lie if there's a part of me that's like, come on clouds, hide it from me no, so seriously. I can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously though, I'm so exhausted. Yeah, I am looking forward to tomorrow very much though. It's going to be a great day. We were not able to do the train ride we wanted to do in Skagway on the cruise because of the rock slide onto the port. This is my rock slide. But tomorrow we're taking a train ride all the way into Denali. So that means we'll have the awesome sightseeing we were hoping for. They have an ADA unit on the train, which I'm very excited to see because I've never been on a train before. And uh, they also have like a lift to the second level. It's, it's going to be an experience. I'm very excited for that. See you either at the Aurora Borealis or on the train. You ready? Okay. <laughs> yes and no. There were Northern Lights last night. Yes. But I don't think we got the call. We did not get the call. And it was like three in the morning. At, truthfully, I don't think we would have gotten up, so. That's true. We probably still wouldn't have gotten up. No. But there were people in our group who did get the call and got out and took some pictures and stuff. But what is cool today is like the whole mountain is visible. Yeah. So we're going to go try to catch that before any clouds move in. Yeah. We got to go so, quick. Yeah. So how it works is 30% of people can see the peak, but it's like through the clouds and only 10% can see the full mountain. So we are really lucky we're in the 10% right now. There it is. There she blows. So this is technically the tallest mountain in the world because it, from base to the peak is a much greater height than the Mount Everest base to peak. But Mount Everest starts higher. Does that make sense? I think so. That's the tallest mountain in the world right there. Right there. We made it. Oh, you hear that? I think that's the train approaching. It's gonna be about a four hour ride through Alaska, obviously. Let's see how this goes. Let's I have see. no idea what to expect. I'm excited. So it looks like this is gonna be my mode of transport up onto the train. I guess it's like a, a lift that rolls. Never use one of these, so this will be cool. Yeah. Before we go up. A million percent. I'll show you that's right here. Cool. Right. Oh, yay! You can go right in. Yes. 
All right, and again, just leave that button alone and then you hang out down here. We'll shut this. You know, who would have thought there would be a roller coaster on the Alaska Railroad? You're gonna have to get a big push. Bigger. You want me to pull? Oh, yes. Oh, you almost had it. Got it? So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy Alaska from a two-story train today. Oh, this is beautiful. Nice trees, the large green this. leaves and a little bit of fall color to them. Alrighty then. So we have the whole back of the, the train car right now. I actually love how much space this is. Yeah. I mean, like, you just get to chill and have this lots, oh. lots of room. To, are you okay? Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, lots of room to roll around and stuff. And apparently they're going to bring a table up for when it's lunchtime. This is awesome. I'm excited. Such a smooth, accessible experience so far. And I think the views are going to be incredible. 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 I'm excited. Yeah, what do you say? Time for lunch? I yeah. think so. Okay, yeah. let's do it. I'm a hungry boy. Okay, great news. Yeah. Oh, nailed it. Nice. And down below. <laughs> cool. Wow. It's like a fancy yeah. dining experience. Right? We can put the seams down. <laughs> Wait, do you have like a little vase with one flower? Oh, one set. And a little flower. candle. Wow, look at this. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So we we're learning a lot more about the accessibility on the train. Uh, we talked to the the peoples, and they told us that they have 20 cars total, and out of those 28 of them are accessible, and they have the the lifts like this. Which to me, I think that's a pretty strong ratio. I mean, when you look at like hotels, the ratio is way lower. Um, like rooms, total rooms versus accessible rooms. So, eight out of twenty is pretty strong. I uh, I think this has been great experience so far. These views are incredible. So, I'm just I'm. This might be my favorite part of the trip so far. No, me too. I'm it's loving awesome. it. Even the food was spot on. Why? It's, it's awesome. I think that train ride might have been my favorite part of this whole trip so far, yeah. including the cruise. Yeah. I just loved it for a number of reasons. One, the scenicness of it was incredible. Like, I don't know if I've ever traveled through a land so beautiful. Number two, the food was delicious. You know how I'm about food. Gotta have delicious food and they had it. Number three was our little area was so accessible and uh, I felt, I didn't feel cramped. I didn't feel trapped. Like I could go down, use the bathroom, come back up, and it was a pretty easy process. They had that little table that was perfect for me. So that was like top to bottom, just an awesome experience. Um, and we just checked in at our place uh, in Denali. Our room's okay, it's not the biggest. Um, in terms of accessibility, it would've been nicer if it was a little bigger. Yeah. I think we may go up front and like ask them to remove some chairs because it's just too tight with Cole's wheelchair. Like there's really nowhere to put his chair. But other than that, I mean, it is really nice, so, yeah. And they gave us some cookies and wine. Yeah. Can't be mad about that. No. Um, tonight, we just have a dinner, and then we have a long tundra wilderness tour tomorrow. Yeah, I'm tired, but excited. Yeah. It's six o'clock. We have like two hours, and we have content to film. Oh my gosh, there's so much. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep. That's how Cole snores. Okay, we're done. It's, it, we're, it's over. <laughs> All right, we were gonna take a nap, but then we came out here for a second just to see the sights, and it's just too beautiful. So we grabbed the camera. But I mean, look at, uh, it's, uh, uh, that's me being speechless. Did not. It's 
uh, another early morning. Okay. We have a Tundra Wilderness tour that's gonna be about five hours. So we're gonna be going into Denali National Park. There are five things we're looking for. We're looking for lynx, moose, wolves, caribou. Lynx, moose, wolf, caribou. There's one I'm missing. What's the one I'm missing? I'll figure it out later. bear, lynx, wolf, caribou. Nice. That's it. Good job. And then there's also a very elusive sixth uh, wildlife we'll, we'll be looking for. It's very rare. We may see it, we may not, but if we will, it would be pretty groundbreaking. That's the, the Sasquatch. So, <laughs> so we're oh, looking out, okay. we're keep, keeping track, making sure, you know, oh wait, no, that's not it. Um, <laughs> so we'll be looking for all six today. That's mostly the bear. bear. Black bear. I think I'm afraid of I want to get off, babe. Can we get out? Yeah, let's I want to go talk to it. A hundred yards from here a bear walked right by the bus. Yeah, that was I mean, so wild. Like literally, I think we made eye contact. I think so point. too, I saw I him. I looked into its eyes. He thought you were cute. It kind of, I think it might have winked at <laughs> it me actually. He might have. <laughs> <laughs> So we are home. Finally. We are exhausted. The last day or the last couple days of the trip just like wore us out. We yeah. had just a mental breakdown with just being so overwhelmed. So we both had to just like take a break on the last day and didn't do much of what was scheduled for us. So. Right. We kind of hit a breaking point there. It was a very long trip. Um, it was a great trip. They just planned so much stuff for us that yeah. it was, it was, it was a lot. So we're back home after traveling all through the night. We've never done a red eye before. This was our first one. So we just got home, what, like three hours ago, four, yeah. three and a half hours ago, took a two hour, a uh, two and a half hour nap. And now we're awake and ready to see Sophie. I know, I'm very excited. I almost like had to just see her earlier, but I thought it would be better if we got some rest mm -hmm. and, uh, and had more energy to see her. So now's the moment. Now's the time. I'm so ready. Me too. <laughs> 